Let's go live now to Ottawa, where Conservative leader Pierre Polyev and members of his party are speaking to media about crime rates. Let's listen in. That's 150 arrests per offender per year. If you could just take those 40 violent offenders off the street, you'd have 6,000 fewer victims of violent crime. So we're not talking about massively increasing the number of people who are incarcerated. We're talking about uh, targeting the most violent repeat offenders who've demonstrated through their habitual conduct a, a tendency to reoffend and a likelihood that they will do so. And that is why uh, we are calling on the Trudeau government to reverse its uh, broken bail system, the system that Trudeau brought in, which allows the same violent repeat offenders to get same day bail to go out and reoffend again and again. We're not talking about the young person who makes one or two mistakes uh, when they're 19 or 20. We're talking about someone who has committed 15, 20, 30 offenses um, and then is arrested again for the very same reason and released onto the street to reoffend. Police tell us that that is the single bi biggest reason why crime has exploded under Trudeau's watch. So we ask Trudeau to, tr to fix what he's broken, and if he doesn't, uh, we have here Frank Caputo, a former Crown prosecutor, who's introducing a bill that will fix the damage Trudeau caused. Uh, we believe everybody is entitled to safe streets and that the, the criminal justice system should keep people safe from violent offenders and particularly repeat violent offenders. So I'd like to thank uh, Member of Parliament for Kamloops and former prosecutor Frank Caputo for introducing this bill and I, allow, I now invite him to address uh, the assembled media. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leader. I appreciate uh, those remarks. <clears throat> the Premier's have asked for bail reform. All 10 provinces and three territories have asked for bail reform. Police have asked for bail reform. Most importantly, the public has asked for bail reform. As I was sitting at home over the holidays, thinking about recent events and how people were talking about bail, I expected to come back to a session where the Trudeau government would put forward legislation to deal with the issue of bail. I was surprised, candidly, when they didn't. Somebody, therefore, had to step up because the Liberals wouldn't, and that meant that the Conservatives had to. And I heeded that call because I felt it was necessary. This morning, I was honoured to table my fourth private member's bill, Bill C-313. Bill C-313 is a small step on a long journey when it comes to bail. The problem we have is this. Repeat violent offenders are generally a small group, but that small group is causing a disproportionate amount of victimization, especially as it relates to firearm offending. That's why Bill C-313 creates a new bail regime that will make the hill go from a small hill to climb for repeat gun offenders or for repeat violent offenders to a much steeper hill to climb. This is what the bill says in summary. If a person is prohibited under two sections of the criminal code from having a gun, a person gets prohibited for serious offenses like robbery, possessing a loaded, restricted, or prohibited firearm, uh, murder. Some of the most serious indictable offenses will get you a prohibition. Or if a judge has said this person needs a prohibition because that is what the law requires to keep Canadians safe. If a person is prohibited in one of those two ways and they commit or are alleged to commit a serious gun offense, then a new bail regime will apply that will make it much more difficult for that person to be released on bail. The discretion will always remain with the trial judge, but what we are trying to do is address the fact that a very small group of dangerous people are committing a disproportionate number of serious firearms crimes. I personally have seen this in my time as a Crown Prosecutor and can say that we will be looking at a discrete group who have in the past committed serious offenses to have to, to 
caused them to be on a weapons prohibition and then subsequently have, are alleged to commit a serious gun crime. At the end of the day, we need to remember that bail and we are just listening to the Conservatives speaking about action on crime rates. They are talking about targeting the most violent offenders of our country, speaking about a small group that's causing the disproportionate amount of crime, especially with gun offenses.